what's up so i just want to make a quick video here for you guys to kind of put out there a point um a lot of you have been saying in comments which is just fine with me um that compared to the s2 salt pepper launcher to the le get the le because it's more powerful you are right you are right the le is more powerful um, but the one thing everyone fails to realize is, including myself, but see, I, I, I can admit it, um, nothing against any of you, but something you probably didn't, haven't even thought about is before the LE came along, available to the public, if you take this side of the equation, And you compare the S2 salt supply launcher to, I don't know, let's just say the SD. Now here's my point. When the LE wasn't uh, on the table to purchase, all we had was the SE the EP and of course the HD which I no longer have now the SD the EP the HD it's pretty safe to say when we had those before the LE came along we were all okay with between I don't know, 260 to 290 FPS. So the point I'm trying to say and make here is, yes, the LE does have a little extra power to it. Definitely a lot more shots compared to the S2. But generally speaking, with this being out of the category, just comparing wise, for five shots with this, and these when they first came out also, only had five round mag. The S2 has power compared to those. So, just something for you guys to all think about. I'm not I'm not putting anyone down or anything like that. It's just uh you know, I agree with you guys. The LE does have more power, a hell of a lot more shots, about 30, 35 shots. But when you compare the S2 to the SD, even the XL, the SD XL and the EP, throw a boost on their XL, HD XL. You take the seven round mags out. We were all okay with five round mags and these, right? When they first came out. Again, not including the LE. Just to make my point. Well, that's a five round mag. And uh, <laughs> this was high. The first five rounds generally are above 300 compared to these two. So... Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I'm going to end this video. Like, share, subscribe. Just wanted to put that point out there. Something for you all to think about. Again, just want to say one more time. I'm always going to be a Berna fan. And I'm always going to conceal carry my Berna for EDC. With a shallow defensive holster. The S2 I do like. And I'm probably going to be getting another one. Eventually. So that's it for this one, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.